everyone, I'm Renee, I'm 24 years old and I'm an architect originally from Auckland but now living and working down in Napier in Hawke's Bay. Sorry I couldn't be there for the New Zealand Hottest Home Baker auditions this weekend but hopefully this wee clip will do me some justice. I'm currently down in Taupo, we'll be running the Great Lake Relay today which is a relay around the entire lake. We've got a team of 16 girls down here, I had to run the first leg, 14 k's which started at 2.30am, so I apologise if I'm looking a little tired right now. Now it was really hard for me to decide what to bake today. I had so many ideas running through my head. I seriously haven't been able to sleep properly for about three nights because I've been so excited about this. Um, I also wanted to bake something that wasn't your average brownie or your fancy cupcakes. I wanted to show you something a little bit different that I could play with flavour combinations. And I was really conscious that you can't smell or taste this baking right now. So I wanted it to be visually appealing. So what I've chosen to bake is a variation of my mum's pear and ginger cake. It's essentially an upside down pear cake. I've made it into these individual portions. And how I make this is I layer sliced almonds down first and then the ripe pear over top. The syrup that goes on top of this is a combination of butter, brown sugar and golden syrup. And in the cake component we have a ginger and orange cake. I use oil in this cake as I find it makes the cake really moist yet still nice and light and spongy. And I add a bit of grated orange rind to it which just adds that extra little bit of zing. Now I absolutely love baking. I love everything about it. I am... Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I, I love baking cakes for friends, for engagements, for birthdays, and every year I make big hampers for Christmas full of baked goods. We've got Florentines, chocolate brownie, spice shortcake, peppermint slice, you name it. It goes down so well. Also for my birthday last year I put on high tea for 20 of my friends in my own home. I baked and prepared everything myself. I went a little overboard. Everyone had to go home with lots of, you know, gift bags, little goodies. But um, I just love, I just love doing stuff like that. I love planning things. I love researching recipes, looking at foodie websites, going through recipe books. Yeah, I'm slightly obsessed, but enjoy every moment of it. Why I think I should be on New Zealand's hottest home baker. I want this so badly. I'm a competitive person. I think this comes from my background in athletics and triathlon. I was a New Zealand representative and held several uh, New Zealand titles. So I think this has given me um, a lot of determination and drive that I push into other areas in my life as well. Also being in the design industry, I have really good attention to detail. Everything in our industry is about presentation and detail. And I think this works in well with the baking because I know how to um, group things together. I know what works well together, what looks good on a plate. And also being an architecture student. I'm used to getting up in front of people, explaining my designs, why I've made such decisions, and then being critiqued, critiqued by our tutors on them. So, hottest home baker judges, bring it on. Many, many people have told me that I am in the wrong profession, that my baking is amazing, and that I should open a cafe. To be honest, that is the dream. That is the end goal. I would love to do that. And I want to be a New, Zealand, New Zealand's hottest home baker because I want to prove that I can do it, that this is what I'm meant to do. I think I have a natural talent for baking. I just absolutely love it and enjoy the whole process. And I hope New Zealand's hottest home baker is that first step in that new direction for me. Thank you. Hope to see you in Auckland soon. Bye.